Hello again folks, a little bit of a different type of video tonight. I've just been into town to try and get a replacement Canon 541 inkjet cartridge for our printer. Uh, my wife's got some paperwork to print off for her business, uh, some paperwork for her clients, and we need an inkjet cartridge tonight. However, the two local shops that sell these particular ones do not have any in stock. So, we had a bit of an issue. And then I saw this hanging on the shelf in Wilco. It's a refill colour, uh, refill kit for colour cartridges claims to be able to refill it six times and it was just £2.60 so I thought might as well make a little video of it and see if it's any good so without further ado we'll crack on and I'll show you what you get in the box I have already opened it <clears throat> excuse me now the thing I will mention is uh, this particular cartridge is not mentioned in the instructions however there are videos online that will show you how to to refill them and indeed I believe there is the correct bits and pieces in here to allow me to do that but you get your instructions it covers the various uh, makes as it says on the front there Brother, Canon, Compaq, Epson, Hewlett Packard, Lexmar, Olivetti and Xerox uh, it should be able to re refill those in the bag of course the most obvious thing we get is the ink your cyan, magenta and yellow we also get uh, a cleaning fluid. I'm not sure what's in this. It's probably just isopropyl alcohol uh, with a bit of dye in it. Um, this is for flushing cartridges that may be sort of crusted up. This one is in fairly good condition. There's uh, been no streaks or anything on it, so hopefully we won't need to use that. You get the syringe, of course, uh, the needle, various plugs, and a little handheld uh, drill bit with a, you know, well, it's a drill bit with a handle attached so you can enlarge the holes for filling so yeah fairly comprehensive um, as you can see i've just put a bit of kitchen roll down here to protect the water surface but we'll go ahead and uh, give it a go so the first thing you're going to need to do is take off the label from the cartridge so i'm just going to use a craft knife get under the corner there and hopefully we can get this off in one go it's not working that way it's one of these uh, nylon type labels so if you uh, start to tear it just try a different uh, try a different edge otherwise you might tear it okay so there is our label off now we do need to keep this and reapply it afterwards so I'm just going to stick that on to the side there and from the the top here we've got this is our magenta we've got cyan and yellow so of course this hole is absolutely tiny this will be injected at the factory by a specialist machine um, but to enable us to fill it we're gonna have to drill these out so all we're gonna do is pop the drill bit in the little hole and start drilling and this looks about two and a half, maybe three millimeter drill. Doesn't seem to be doing much just now. I'll tell you what we didn't get though in the kit was a set of gloves, but luckily I've got some here. Not often I wear gloves on the channel, but tonight we'll be wearing them. Yeah. Don't want to get ink all over our hands. Okay, rocks. Right, so I'm going to apply a bit of pressure to this. It does feel like it's glass-filled plastic, so it's a bit more difficult to to drill into. As you can see. So what I'll do is I'll probably just pause the video now. Uh, once I've opened these up, then we'll start to refill it. So I'll catch you in just a second. Right, welcome back. Um, this drill is absolute scrap. Um, I'm just using a regular um, regular drill bit, a, you know, high-speed steel drill bit. And it's going through it like nothing else. It's working really well. Um, yeah, the one that's included isn't brilliant at all. You'll be there. I mean, it probably would get through, um, but you'll be there quite some time. So just use a regular drill bit. And as you can see, it gives us a nice clean hole there to inject the ink. Okay, so... Let's prepare the surgical equipment. We have a needle, and it is a blunt needle. 
as you can see there um, I just pulled the cover off really what you should do is take your syringe and twist it in and then pull it off like so now get it to focus should be putting about four millilitres of ink in each chamber excuse me while I double check what goes where uh, yeah magenta at the top so we'll start off with the top so these do have a paper seal on so I'm probably just gonna bust through that paper seal like so and uh, withdraw I'm gonna drop withdraw about five millilitres into the chamber because as you can see we do have a little bit of air and we don't want to inject that air into the cartridge so all we're going to do is uh, pop the syringe into the cartridge and gently fill up the chamber with the ink if it does start to overflow then of course we can wipe it up so that's that's taken it all to be fair yeah that's taken about five mils i'm not going to put any more than that in it and then we'll, what we're gonna have to do is clean the syringe so i've just got a, a glass of water here as you can see as i've withdrawn the water in you can see it's turned uh, you just turned the water pink due to that residual um, ink that was in there. Just clean that out. Try to get the majority of the water out. Sorry, I'm doing that off camera. Yeah, just dab it and make sure there's as much of that ink out as, as possible. It doesn't matter, I don't suppose, if you get it diluted very slightly okay next thing we're going to do is the cyan and it's going to be exactly the same process draw about five mils again carefully place it in and gently inject that into the cartridge like so same process clean it in the water wipe it off on the paper Get as much out as possible and finally we will do the yellow Pop that lid on there before it goes everywhere. Oh, thought I was going to get away without dripping any, but there we go. So now the yellow goes in. And that is us done. So I can actually see the liquid sitting in there, so that will soak into the fibres in there. Right, what we're going to do next is plug up the holes we just made. Um, these, let me just check. These don't look like they're vented, which they probably should be. If you look on top of the cartridge, can you see those wiggly lines? Those are to allow air into the cartridge so you don't it doesn't create a vacuum as the ink comes out. Obviously, it's open at the top so that the, the air pressure can balance out and the ink will flow. If these are plugged up too tight, then it might actually cause us a problem. But we'll, we'll give it a blast and, and see how it goes. So I'm going to try these black ones. I think the drill I used might have been slightly bigger. Yeah, do you know what? I don't think that's going to be an issue. There is Those are going to really easily. And that shouldn't, shouldn't cause us any problems. Then it's just a case of reapplying the label like so and it's not going to be perfect because those plugs do sit proud and that should be our cartridge refilled
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and print off a few test pages, a few clean processes uh, using the, the Canon software and hopefully we'll have some nice uh, fresh colour coming out. I'll catch you in just a moment. All right, welcome back. So the results are in. Um, this was the first test print. As you can see, it looks like there's a bit of cyan in with the magenta. So I did a deep clean and it came out the correct colours, but with a little bit of banding on a single, looks like a single, maybe a couple of lines worth of banding. Sorry, this isn't focusing very well. Incidentally, I am phone, uh, filming this on my new phone, so any comments on the quality, please let me know of the video, not the content. I know the content's rubbish. <laughs> that was another deep clean, seemed to clean up a little bit, but then got another line at the bottom. And then finally I thought, well, do you know what? I'll just print off a, a photograph. Um, this isn't me. Hopefully will be someday. Um, but as you can see, the first uh, inch or so on the left-hand side there uh, was really bandy, banded, and then it sorted itself out. Now, this is really old photo paper, so it's not the best quality, so I'm not sure how good a colour representation you're going to get on the camera. Uh, but that's a nice, bright picture. And the ink, jet, the ink cartridge, uh, you know, it has done its job. It's, it's, it's brilliant. For £2.60... Um, the printer is still reporting that ink is low, but clearly it is printing. Before, it was completely missing. I think it was the... Uh, what was missing? I think it was the yellow was missing. Uh, you know, when you were printing out a test print, you were only getting cyan and magenta. So, presumably it uses more yellow than other colours uh, from what my wife's been printing. Um, where was it going with that? Yeah, but... So if you were printing off in colour, it was the colours weren't there. Uh, I have refilled it. The inkjet cartridge is still saying the ink is low, but clearly it is working. So, you know, unbiased, non-sponsored uh, opinion on this is that for £2.60 is amazing value. Um, yeah, six times or so you're going to be able to refill those. Of course, the, the cartridges won't last indefinitely. You might get a clog or or something, you know, a particle might get in and somehow make it through the, the filter me, uh, media inside the cartridge and block up the head and then it's a case of throwing that away. But even if you can refill it once or twice, you know, for £2.60, you're going to save yourself a fortune. They do do the kit in black. Um, I thought I'd test with the colour first because that was the one that had run out. It's £3, I think. So, yeah, all in all, you're looking about six quid to be able to... Re uh, six quid to fill you know two cartridges six times each uh, and when you compare that to the price of uh, even remanufactured cartridges you're looking at 20 30 pounds or you know 20 pounds but for for genuine canon you're looking at 40 pounds um I, i'd definitely give that a go for, for the, the money anyway slightly waffling on hopefully you might have found that useful or interesting if you did of course give me a thumbs up if you thought it was a little rubbish uh, give me the thumbs down add any comments you would like to do so if you'd like to do so i should say um it's all good for the channel and if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so click on the fat head down here to subscribe uh just finally once again any comments on the quality of the video as in the video quality, not the content quality, just to see how this new phone's doing. And uh, yeah, until next time, uh, as always, take care of yourselves and all the best. Cheers.